Google Workspace Tutorial Simple Tips and Tricks for Getting Started Hey guys, welcome! In this video, I'm giving you a complete Google Workspace Tutorial and I'll show you how you can simply get started or what are the different ways you can use Google Workspace for. So let's get into it. First of all, what you're going to do is you can go to workspace.google.com and you will land right here. Uh, so Google Workspace is all in one workspace that we are getting. It allows us to create teams, collaborate with our team members, create a different task. We will be able to access different Google apps within Google Workspace, such as Google Meets. Then we have Google Calendar, Google Notes and much, much more. So in in order to get started, you will get to workspace.google.com and you will get right here. Now, getting started is really easy. You will find the option right here. Click on get started. And now we can sign up for Google Workspace. So Google Workspace has custom email with the domain. We will getting advanced security and admin features uh, and no charge for a 14 day trial. So that is also pretty impressive. Let's get started with the process. Uh, business name. So here you have to enter your business name. Let's go with a simple name that we have. Then you have to select number of employees. So you will select it. I'm going to select two to nine and then we will select our region. Click on next. So now you have to select first name, last name and current email address. Now, this is a simple Gmail address that you have because we know with Google Workspace, you will also be getting your business email. We can create one. So I'll just show you how you do that. Uh, so here we just are going to enter our information, first name, last name and current email address. Click on next. And now we have to select a business domain. So here is the tip for you guys. We have two options here. We have yes, I have one I can use or no, I need one. So if you do not have any domain name already, you can get one with Google. So you're going to click on no, I need one and you will search for a domain name. So what you can do is you can go for a .com domain or sometimes if you want a domain, then you can go for other domains as well. A lot of people have no idea that they are very cheap domain names and even some are completely free. Uh, if you're okay with like, for example, .xyz, .info, then you can use any domain name. So uh, if you do not find .com, you can go for another alternative. Keep that in mind. I'm just going to enter the business name and then Google will show me if it's available or not. So I'm searching for .com first. It'll search it for me and we will be able to see that if it is available or not and what is the price. So this one is available for $12 per year. The price is actually pretty impressive. Just $12 per year for this domain. And I can set up any business email with the domain name. If .com was not available, Google Workspace will let me know and I can use another one. But I got the .com, so this is actually pretty good. And now I, I will click on next and it will give me the domain. But if you already have one, then you can use it. If you have one, you don't need to create a new Google Works uh, space uh, domain here. So enter your domain name, whatever you have, uh, and then you will click on next. Once you click on next, then next step is going to be similar. If you get a domain or if you have a domain already. So after the domain, you have to enter your business information here. You have to enter your street uh, address. You have to add a sector, city, postal code and everything. Once you've added the information, you're going to click on next. And now we have uh, stay up to date. We'll send you an email. So for now, you can just click on OK or no thanks. And now you will sign in. All you need to do is just enter your username and password and you will be able to sign in or sign up for your Google Workspace. So I have entered the information and then we're going to just do the uh, recapture here, agree and continue. So after that, you will be able to just use your Google Workspace and you can sign in any time uh, on Google Workspace. Let me actually show you the products that you will be getting. We have Gmail for a custom business email uh, with Google Workspace. You will get your own business email such as um, you have Alex at, uh, for instance, Google.com. Whatever your domain is, you can you will be able to give your email business email to all your team members. Then we have a calendar. Uh, we can create a shirt 
standard calendar as well. We have a drive. Uh, cloud storage is increased. We have Google Meet for video and voice conferencing. We have Google Documents, of course, to create different documents. We have Sheets, Slides and Google Chat available within our Google Workspace. Um, so there is a pricing plan for Google Workspace. Let me actually show you so that you will have a better idea about the affordability of Google Workspace. And when it comes to getting started, you know how much you will be paying. So you can see we have a business starter for $6. And here's a sign up uh, tip for you. If you have a small business, then you can go for a business starter, I would say, because we have like 100 participants in video meetings. We have a secure and business email. You will be getting 30 GB of storage per user. But if you have a, you know, large business, then you can actually go for a business plus here, which is $18 per user per month. And the most popular one, this one is actually pretty good for a small business as well as a large business. And it's $12 per month in this one recording within the video meetings. We have 2 TB of storage per user security and management controls we have custom of course um business email and then there is also an enterprise where you will be getting custom pricing for custom features so you can contact these sales as well so google workspace is powered by google and it's a trusted platform for your business that you should check out um, and you will be able to find all of the different features and tools here uh, right on the pricing and you will get a better idea what platform to choose and there is a free trial so while signing up make sure to check it to get the free trial so that you will have a better idea that how google workspace works there are different industries that we can use Google Workspace for. So if you go to industries, we have health and care and life sciences. We have retail, manufacturing. We have government and public sectors. We have professional services, technology. Um, in departments, we have sales, marketing, and HR. So if you are looking for a all-in-one workspace and you're looking for an affordable workspace, then you should definitely sign up for Google Workspace. I showed you how to do that. And it will allow you to create a flexible, innovative, solution for people and uh, your team members you can also go to the admin console here and you can access it anytime right here on workspace.google.com so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 